Oh man, let's do let's do this. <laughs> Hello people. Nighttime, about 10:45 at night. Hmm. Another beautiful day or night. Yep. Hope your five senses work, health and strength is good. Or excellent. What? What's up, Tweak Town? We at it again. <laughs> Look, I told you. I try to tell you guys. Uh, the FTC, they weren't prepared. Like I told you guys, like these, like these lawyers and paralegals like to say, know your argument. All right. <laughs> Listen to this. Got this article here from Tweak Town. Listen to this. Federal judge identifies eight reasons why Microsoft has no incentive to withhold Call of Duty. Hmm. Says California District California District Court Judge Jacqueline uh, Scott Corley identifies eight major reasons why Microsoft has no incentive to withhold Call of Duty from Sony. Hmm. Says here it's official. Oh, back up, back up. Oh yeah. This, this article from Tweaktown, by the way, it says here, it's official, the FTC has lost its fight to obtain a preliminary injunction that would forcibly prohibit Microsoft Activision merger until the completion of the FTC's internal administrative hearing. And the two companies can potentially uh, com commence the merger in the coming days. Then it says, Microsoft is on, is on, Microsoft is on the cusp of merging with Activision and forming a mega publisher that brings multiple billion dollar franchise to Xbox Game Pass. Today, federal judge Jacqueline Cor Scott Corley denies the FTC request for a preliminary injunction order on the Microsoft Activision merger. And Judge Corley also ordered that the temporary restraining order in joining Microsoft and Activision be lifted by July 15th. Hmm. The merger is expected to close ahead of the FTC Phase 3 administrative lawsuit start in August. Then it says, in page in 53-page report, Judge Corley outlines the reason why she denied the FTC preliminary injunction request. This includes eight separate key reasons why Microsoft does not have the incentive to withhold access to the 31 billion Call of Duty franchise from Sony PlayStation Game Division. While report acknowledged that Microsoft certainly will have the ability to withhold Call of Duty because they will own the franchise, Judge Corley says that the FTC has not adequately shown that Xbox Game Division does not have the incentive to do so. Like I told you, they weren't prepared. Know your argument. Says your uh, reason one, Microsoft made closed-door close, close door, uh, commitments to, with Sony, Nintendo, and Valve. Judge Corley bring up the private commitments that Microsoft key management made with Sony to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation. PlayStation. Further citing the offers made to Valve, which were shrugged off because Valve doesn't need them and the 10-year deal that Microsoft signed with Nintendo. Reason two. The Activision acquisition deal plan's valuation model re re relies heavily on Call of Duty remaining on PlayStation. This section is highly redacted, but testimony from the evidentiary hearing indicates that Call of Duty staying on PlayStation was a big part of why Microsoft Board of Directors signed off on the acquisition price of $68.7 billion. Hmm. Reason 3. Mobile gaming was a big part of Microsoft buyout plan. This section is also redacted because it cites the confidential project uh, Den Denali Activision acqu acquisition deal model. The logic here is that because Microsoft wanted mobile gaming to establish a billion dollar presence in the mobile market that the company has no real incentive to remove Call of Duty from PlayStation so it can forge ahead in the console market. And then it says in all black, Microsoft keen interest in Activision mobile content suggests that combined firm is not incentivized to withhold Call of Duty, call, call of Duty <laughs> merely to aid the shrinking console market. Reason four, 
Microsoft management testified on their oath that there are no plans to make Call of Duty exclusive. <laughs> Judge Corley brings up testimony from Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella that he would 100% commit to continuing to ship Call of Duty on PlayStation. Xbox Gaming Division CEO Phil Spencer also testified the same. <laughs> Reason 5. No Microsoft documents saying that Call of Duty will become Xbox exclusive. Judge Corley says that there is no evidence of Microsoft's stated intent to make Call of Duty exclusive to PlayStation. Then it says in all black, the FTC has not identified a single document which contradicts Microsoft's publicly stated commitment to make Call of Duty available on PlayStation. Reason 6. Call of Duty needs to remain multi-platform in order to continue delivering successful revenue. Judge Corley points to testimony from Xbox Gaming CFO Tim Stewart on how games will existing con communities will only continue to thrive if those online communities are not disrupted. Crossplay thus creates an incentive to leave Call of Duty on PlayStation. Reason 7. Microsoft would suffer reputational harm removing Call of Duty from PlayStation. This is a point that I brought up some time ago. Right now, Xbox Gaming is in and has stayed in third place for many years. And a big reason why is because of the reputational harm that the brand suffers during the Xbox One original launch in 2013. Microsoft has never really fully recovered from this blow and there is discussion of the company miss opportunities with mega hits uh, AAA titles. Removing Call of Duty from PlayStation would be detrimental to Xbox on a brand level basis. Mm. Then it says in all black, why would Microsoft risk that brand reputational harm, especially since the video game console market is shrinking, not growing? It is not the future of it is not the future of video gaming. Reason eight. <clears throat> Listen to this, and this is for the FTC. Reason eight. <laughs> remember, remember when Judge uh, 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 Judge Corley uh, asked asked them uh, what other games beside Call of Duty, and they couldn't list it. Listen to this. Reason eight. FTC cannot identify a time when a big game like Call of Duty has been made exclusive in a similar way. Call of Duty has only become so successful so successful because it is cross-platform. And while PlayStation plays a large part of, of that, PC gaming is still still substantial as well. We have to remember that Activision did threaten to withhold Call of Duty from Xbox, Xbox <laughs> unless Microsoft agreed to a higher rev share split. So Xbox may be seen as disposable. Let's see, disposable. Where did you heard that term from? To the publisher. Disposable. Where did you heard that term from? Me. But anyway, <laughs> if so, Call of Duty would have been made exclusive to PlayStation on an Inadvert, inadvertent basis, even still, the FTC did not provide evidence. They weren't prepared. Know your argument. All right. Says here in all black, the FTC has not identified any instance in which an established multiplayer, multi-platform game with cross-play that is a game that shares Call of Duty characteristics has been withdrawn from millions of gamers and made exclusive. And that is the end of the article. Good article, Twig Town. Again, <laughs> look, um, they weren't prepared for this. Like I told you, they rushed to judgment. And no disrespect to the FTC, because they, they are humans, you know, you got to be respectful. No disrespect to them or the CMA. But they weren't prepared. They rushed to judgment. Sony runs to the CMA. The CMA filed suit, and then the FTC filed, filed their suit. They were never prepared for this, you know. Um, um, 
like I told you, the judge can see through things, you know. I mean, even when the judge asks them questions, like, okay, what are the games besides Call of Duty? And you, you're forgetting Tony Hawk, Diablo, StarCraft, World of Warcraft, Candy Crush? They were not prepared. Um, the FTC just rushed the judgment, you know. And the, the other big mistake they made, too, was when they tried to remove Nintendo from the equation and make this about a high-performance uh, uh, console market. <laughs> so, they messed up big. Um, Microsoft, um, for whoever said, uh, uh, let's see, Microsoft. Microsoft management testified under oath that there are no plans to make Call of Duty exclusive. That's why they gave out those 10-year contracts. Because they, they wanted everybody to benefit from this. Instead of Sony keeping the exclusive content to themselves. So, <laughs> then Reason 5 it says, No Microsoft documents saying that Call of Duty will become exclusive. See, there, there are people on the internet that like to make up lies a lot about this whole this whole court situation. At first they said it was um they said it was anti competitive and then they tried to use the uh, uh, I think it was Windows when Microsoft was putting Windows on every PC they were trying to use that and then try to compare it to the Microsoft buying uh, Activision Blizzard. Yeah, gotta do your gotta do your research on this stuff, you know. <laughs> but other than that man, um like the judge, the judge, the, the judge knew that they weren't prepared for this, you know, because she she even was putting them to the test to see if they really knew what they really knew what they were talking about, and obviously they didn't, you know. Then you got Phil Spencer now he corrected the FTC with the house analogy, hmm. and me neither. I've never seen seventy billion, so there. <laughs> but other than that, man. Um, they just wasn't prepared for this, you know. Maybe, maybe they were worried about the unknown, the CMA and the FTC, but they were they were never prepared, you know. And um, uh, they were asked the question to learn more about the deal versus ask, asking the uh, making making con providing like solid concrete evidence. They were they were never prepared, and you got the judge giving eight reason eight reasons. Mm. Yeah, <clears throat> gotta be gotta be prepared for that courtroom, man. There's <laughs> nothing to play with, you know? and that's why most people lose uh, lose cases. They you know they were never prepared. Eight reasons: Microsoft made closed door commitment with Sony, Nintendo, and Valve. That's one reason. Two, Activision acquisition deal plan valuation model relies heavily. On Call of Duty remaining on PlayStation. Mm. Reason three: Mobile gaming was a big part of Microsoft buyout plan. Reason four: Microsoft management testified under oath that there are no plans to make Call of Duty exclusives. Mm. I know, I know those, I know those YouTubers that were saying that Microsoft was trying to make Call of Duty exclusive. They look bad. <laughs> Reason five. Um. What's that? What's that? Reason 5 or Reason 6? Oh. No Microsoft document saying that Call of Duty will become exclusive. Reason 6. Call of Duty needs to remain multi-platform in order to continue delivering successful revenues. Remember remember I told you remember I told you uh uh that um th that those 10 year contracts that they gave out that those um cloud streaming services are going to benefit from it. Oh yeah. Reason seven: Microsoft would suffer reputational harm removing Call of Duty up from PlayStation. <laughs> and reason eight: FT, FTC. And this is the dagger right here. The, <laughs> when I when I said they weren't prepared, FTC cannot identify a time when a big game like Call of Duty has been made exclusive in a similar way. They were not prepared. 
Then it says in all black, the FTC has not identified any instance in which an established multiplayer, multi-platform game with cross-play, that is, a game that shares Call of Duty characteristics, has been withdrawn from millions of gamers and made exclusive. Know your argument. <laughs> like these like these lawyers and paralegals like to say, know your argument. <laughs> They were never prepared for this. Um, yeah. And again, and again, no disrespect to the FTC or the CMA. But yeah, but if you don't, if you, if you're gonna go at Microsoft, if you're gonna go at Microsoft, you best be prepared. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like my teacher used to tell me, you know, ninety-five-five. You know, ninety-five percent preparation, five percent execution. <laughs> yeah. They were not prepared for this. Yeah, I mean they jumped the gun, you know. And for those YouTubers that was talking about, oh, we're tired, we're tired of, we're tired of hearing about this Activision court case. Oh, oh, you don't like the truth, huh? Okay, that's what you mean. Oh, we are tired of hearing about this Activision court case. Oh, you don't like the truth, huh? Yeah, the truth stings a little bit, huh? Set, it set matters straight. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> yeah, and the, and the reason why uh, Sony um, uh, Sony did so bad with their presentation is because they tried to expose Microsoft, but then the flashlight was on them. So um, they got they got the EA treatment. Remember when EA uh, went overseas to challenge the European <laughs> the European Union about loot boxes, and they got humbled. That's what happened to PlayStation with the. Um, with their pre with their uh, with their presentation of our uh, Spider-Man 2. Everybody was trying to figure out what was going on. But I knew. <laughs> anyway, so when you hear these YouTubers talking about, oh, we're tired of hearing about this Activision court case. Oh yeah, you were telling lies about Xbox all all those years, right? All those months, days and weeks. But then the Activision uh, court case exposed Sony. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Okay? <laughs> yeah. This Activision court case exposed a lot. I learned a lot from it too myself. But uh for all those YouTubers that was bashing Xbox, they look bad right now. They look pretty bad. <laughs> yep. All those lies they were telling about uh Microsoft saying that they were trying to make Call of Duty exclusive. No they weren't. If they were if they if they were trying to make Call of Duty exclusive, they wouldn't be giving out them 10-year contracts to who? And where EE, Ubitus, Boosteroid, and, uh, NVIDIA, and Nintendo, they wouldn't have given out no 10-year contracts. So whoever was saying that they, that they were trying to make Call of Duty exclusive, uh, you guys need to do your research first, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> but this article from Twigtown, again, <laughs> really explains a lot, man. This judge... Yeah, she, she, she knows her stuff, you know. <laughs> she don't sit on that bench for nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but the FTC, CMA, they look bad in this, you know. I mean, I'm pretty sure they probably were worried about the unknown. They probably were. You know, that's why they probably filed, filed their lawsuit, you know. And um, Sony was just mad that they, they, they're not going to get the exclusive content to themselves anymore. When Call of Duty comes out now, all those uh, cloud streaming service, they get the content right away. Sony can't keep it to themselves anymore. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this judge, this uh, this judge, uh, she did her, she did her homework, <laughs> and she knows her stuff, man. She gave us eight reasons why. Reason one: Microsoft made clo closed door uh, commitment with Sony, Nintendo, and Valve. <laughs> Reason two, Activision, the Activision acquisition deal plan valuation relies heavily on Call of Duty remaining on PlayStation. <laughs> Reason three, mobile gaming was a big part of Microsoft buyout plan. <laughs> Reason four, Microsoft management testified under oath that there are no plans to make Call of Duty exclusive. And that's why they gave out those 10-year contracts. Reason five, no Microsoft document saying that Call of Duty will become exclusive. Hmm. 
Reason six, Call of Duty need to remain multi-platform in order to continue delivering successful revenues. And that's where those 10 year contracts come in. Mm -hmm. Reason seven, Microsoft would suffer a reputational harm removing Call of Duty up from PlayStation. Okay, if they never gave out those 10 year contracts and then they remove Call of Duty from PlayStation, Oh yeah, they would lose a lot of revenue. And reason eight, and this is the dagger here to the FTC, FTC cannot identify a time when a big game like Call of Duty has been made exclusive in a similar way. Yeah, FTC. Yeah, you guys gotta do your research on this. <laughs> you know, so, so does the CMA, you know. Yeah. Because you can't say, "Oh, we don't think it's gonna, we, we, we don't think it's gonna, we, we don't think it's gonna um, harm console console gaming," but we're more concerned about cloud. Uh uh, it's either it's, it's either it's gonna cause harm, or it's or it's not. Just saying. And to you YouTubers that was talking, that was talking about, "Oh, we are so tired of hearing about uh, this Activision court case." Oh. You love to spread lies about Xbox, huh? Okay, about Microsoft, huh? And then when you hear the truth, you get tired. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Poor Dark Sanctuary. Go. Peace.